Goatman of Maryland is a legendary half goat, half human creature that has the head and the legs of a goat and the body of a human. According to the urban legend, the Goatman is an axe wielding half animal, half man creature that was once a scientist who worked in the Beltsville Agricultural Research Center. The tale goes that he was experimenting on goats until one experiment backfired and he was mutated, becoming goat-like himself. He then began attacking cars with his axe, roaming the woods and the back roads of Maryland. One variation of the legend is that the goat man was the result of a very early DNA experiment gone wrong by a scientist named Stephen Fletcher, though other variations exist. Some involve supernatural origins like the devil. According to the University of Maryland, folklorist Barry Pearson, the goat man legend began long, long, long ago and was popularized in the 1970s when the death of a dog was blamed on the goat man by local residents. Pearson says teenagers keep the tale alive by repeating the story and because couples have been attacked late at night by a creature standing on its hind legs. So if you're going out to the woods tonight, you might just be in for a surprise. Number 9. The Kidney Heist This urban legend is probably one of the most well known. There are a lot of variations of the tale, but they always contain the same points. A man or a woman travels out of town on business and hooks up with a stranger at the bar. The stranger ends up drugging him or her and taking him back to the hotel. They wake up hours later in a tub of ice, finding stitched up incisions on their side where their kidneys are located. These strangers steal the kidneys to sell on the black market for transplants. What is scary about this legend is I think this probably could and has already happened. How hard would it be to find a doctor on the black market to buy organs? Maybe I watch too many movies, but if you're on holiday having a drink in a bar with strangers, please don't go alone. Number 8 the slip mouth woman. The slip mouth woman or Kuchisaka Ona is a malevolent figure appearing in Japanese ghost stories dating back to the Edo dynasty. She's an undead serial killer who approaches her victims and asks a seemingly harmless question before killing them with a big pair of scissors. She was attacked and mutilated by her husband and returns as a malicious spirit. She was a very beautiful woman and got a lot of attention from men. So he attacked her out of anger and jealousy. After slicing her mouth from ear to ear, he asked her, who will find you pretty now? In 1979, sightings started spreading in Nagasaki prefecture of Japan. It caused panic in many towns and cities. There were reports of schools making the children go home in groups, escorted by teachers for safety. Also, the police increased their patrols. Recent sightings include many reports in South Korea in 2004 about a woman wearing a red surgical mask who was frequently seen chasing children. According to the legend, she walks up to you and asks you, am I pretty? If you answer yes, she will remove the mask and ask you again, in a girly voice. If the victim answers yes or screams, she will slash the victim from ear to ear so the victim resembles her. If you answer no, she walks away only to follow you home and brutally murder you later that night. Some kids have found a way to escape her. To avoid this grisly fate, give her a confusing answer like so-so or ask her a question back giving you time to run away. A lot of people wear surgical masks in Japan to stop the spreading of germs so Kuchisaka Ona wouldn't look out of place or you wouldn't know it until it was too late. Number 7 The Well to Hell The Well to Hell is an urban legend regarding a borehole in Russia which was supposedly 
drilled so deep that it broke through hell itself. This legend has been circulating on the net since 1995. The legend goes, a team of Russian engineers led by an individual called Mr. Azakov somewhere in Siberia had drilled a hole that was 14.4 kilometers, which is 8.9 miles deep before breaking through into a cavity. They lowered heat tolerated microphones along with other sensory equipment into the well. The temperature recorded was over 1000 degrees Celsius or 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, which was coming from a chamber below them. The scientists could also hear strange noises coming from far below so they listened to the recorders and what they found was shocking to say the least. I will now play the original sounds recorded. It consists of torture screams and howls. It sounds like a lot of people in pain. So if you don't want to listen to it, forward it now to number six. Here goes. Tomino's Hell Tomino's Hell is a Japanese poem that is supposed to be cursed. It is said that if you read it out loud or hear it in any way, you will be horribly cursed and bad things are destined to happen to you. But if you read it in your head, nothing will happen. The poem talks about a cute person named Tomino and two sisters in hell. It's definitely a unique and strange poem that takes some time deciphering to get the full meaning of it. The poem itself is very odd, but I suppose it's a whole different culture and belief system. There's also a popular painting that goes with the poem. Here's a picture of it. Reports of people getting intense headaches, close relatives dying and being injured the day after reading the poem. One person read it and had their grandmother die the next day. Another reader broke her foot after reading it. All of this can be researched, so look into it. It's up to you if you believe it or not. I am about to play the original poem in Japanese. It's about two minutes long and scary. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to cover your ears. Here goes. Warning. You are about to hear a cursed poem. Doing so might cause bad effects. Dark Knight Productions will not be held responsible for any accidents or pain caused as a result of listening to this poem. In doing so, you fully agree to be held responsible for your own actions and well-being. Thanks and God bless. かわいい富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高い糸富野は宝玉高
針の三山小山の留め針留め針を赤い留め針が手には刺すぬ可愛い富の,の目印に Number five. Chain letters. Chain letters are emotionally driven stories or instructions sent by hand or by email with the intention of sending them to a specific number of people. Most of the time, they will threaten the receiver with bad luck or even death if they fail. In other words, a chain letter will tell you to pass it on to 10 up to 20 people or you will be cursed or have bad luck or die. So, if you got a chain letter, would you just bin it or would you pass it on? Let me know in the comments. Number four The Licked Hands. The licked hand, or humans can lick too, is an urban legend popular amongst teenagers. Like many urban legends, it has several versions and has been around since 1982. It was also made into two movies. So, The legend goes a young girl is at home alone for the first time with only her dog for company. Listening to the news, she hears of a killer on the loose. Scared, she locks all the windows and all the doors, but she forgets to lock the basement window. Then, she goes back to bed, taking her dog with her and letting it sleep under her bed. She wakes up at night and hears a drip, drip, dripping sound coming from the bathroom. But she is too scared to get out of bed to investigate. To reassure herself, she reaches a hand under the bed to stroke her dog and is rewarded with a lick on her hand by her dog. Eventually, she falls asleep. The next morning, she wakes up and goes to the bathroom for a drink of water, only to find her dead, mutilated dog hanging in the shower with his blood slowly dripping onto the tiles. On the shower wall, written in blood, are the words Humans can lick too. There are other variations from other countries. The message is sometimes written on the floor or on the mirror, or the girl wakes up to see the reflection of a man licking her hand in the mirror. Either way, you got to admit, it's very creepy. Number three, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary is a folklore legend consisting of a ghost, phantom, or a spirit conjured to reveal the future. She appears in the mirror. When her name is chanted repeatedly. Bloody Mary can be benign or malevolent depending on the variations of the legend. In the ritual of today, Bloody Mary appears to individuals or groups who invoke her name. This is done by chanting her name in a mirror placed in a dimly lit or candlelit room. In some traditions, her name must be repeated 13 times. In the version we know, Her name is chanted five times. Staring into a mirror for long periods of time in a dimly lit room causes one to hallucinate. Your facial features may appear to melt, distort, disappear, or rotate. The legend of Bloody Mary has been an inspiration for many movies, shows, and video games. Maybe there is some truth to the legend. What do you believe? Number two. Tacky Tacky. The Tacky Tacky is a Japanese urban legend about a ghost or a young woman or a schoolgirl who fell on the railway lines and was cut in half by an oncoming train. Now, a vengeful spirit, she travels on her hands or her elbows, dragging her torso, making a scratching or a Tacky Tacky sound. If you encounter her at night and not fast enough, she will slice you in half. The legend goes that Kashima Riko, who died on the train tracks, lost her legs when she was cut in half. Kashimo haunts the bathroom stores at stations and asks her victims have they seen her legs. To be saved, you must tell her that her legs are at the Maishin Railway. And answer Kashima Riko if she asks you who told you this. Sometimes she asks you what's her name. This is a trick question. If you answer by saying Kashima Riko, this will result in her attacking you. The correct answer is Mask of Death Demon. 
This is derived from the meaning of her name. So, if you're ever traveling in Japan on the trains, don't go into the toilets. Before we hit the number one spot, please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. By doing this, you will help me continue to make videos. Also, leave suggestions in the comments below on what videos you would like to see. Thank you. Number one. The Okiku doll. A mysterious doll possessed by the spirit of a child has captured the curiosity of the people across Japan for decades. The legendary Okiku doll, named after the girl who owned it long ago, used to play with it. It is 40 centimeters, 16 inches tall, wearing a kimono, and has beady black eyes and hair that grows all on its own. The doll has been at the temple in Japan since 1938 and initially had a bob cut, but over the years her hair has grown down to its waist. The doll's owner used to play with the doll every day, but the girl died of a cold. Back then we never had antibiotics. When she died, the family kept the doll and noticed its hair started to grow. No one has managed to explain why the doll's hair grows.